So I want to know why you guys want to lose weight. Your reasons. Just shout them out. Help. 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 Okay, can you be more specific? Um, to live a longer life and spend time with my grandchildren. Grandkids. What about your health? What's better about weight loss? I mean, cholesterol. Yeah, knees. Cholesterol. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Get off the drugs. Is that possible? Yes. Yes. It sure is. Isn't that exciting? Has anybody experienced that before? Getting off medication. Can you tell? Uh, I was off uh, type 2 diabetes, glucophage, off. I was off uh, blood pressure medicine, off anxiety medicine um, in the space of a year. Woo! That's amazing. Jack, can you tell everybody how much you've lost? 86 and a half pounds. Wow. Awesome. Can you bring in a before picture at some point? Thank you. It's really fun to see. You know, Kim, yeah. what's even more fun to see is, is um, Jack was a, an EMT for a long period of time, a volunteer um, job, and we have one of his EMT shirts, and we can fit three people. Oh, That's a great picture. Wow. That is so, so great. I have it hanging in the closet, and I keep saying wow. to him, do you want to bring it? Do you want to bring it? Do you want to bring it? But you should see Next the difference. Week. Next week. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that one on tape. Anybody else? Why do you want to lose weight? Think about it. What's really important to you? I have more energy. Energy. You get more energy when you lose weight? Yes. Yeah. I used to, I have a girlfriend named Jean, and I used to love when she would, I'd watch her crouch down with her kids, and she'd squat in this position with her little, she had little guys, and I had little guys, and she'd read them a book for a half an hour. Well, just getting there, I'd be going, it hurt. <laughs> and then she'd stay there. And I couldn't imagine, do you know it feels really good to squat and to read to your kids? And that's how I read to my kids now, a lot of times. I just squat and read to them. The things that you can do that you never thought. Talk about knees. What, yeah. How about crossing your legs when you yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that day, Kathy? Okay. Can I tell? <laughs> Kathy and I went through Weight Watchers together. And I was, I had lost about, um, I don't know, Kathy, it was like, I said like 30, 40 more to go. I was sitting in the back of the meeting and I was trying to see if I could cross my legs yet and I was pulling my pants up by my ankle. <laughs> I had lost well over 100 pounds and she looks over and she goes, what are you doing? I said, oh, I was so embarrassed she caught me. I'm trying to see if I could cross my legs yet. It feels great to cross your legs. One of the biggies. What else? Not to worry about an extra seat belt extender in an airplane. Yep. I didn't even know they had them. And when we flew to Europe, um, when we flew to Europe, I got on the airplane. It was the first time I realized I couldn't buckle up because we never flew much. And I tucked it into my stretchy pants and I put the shirt over. And I knew, because I didn't even know they existed and I thought they were going to kick me off the plane. So I like tucked it in and I, she walked by and she looked, but I mean, it, she, I'm like, she's going to ask to see. <laughs> oh no. And she didn't. And I flew to Europe and back that way because I didn't know about them. Buckling up in a car. What else? I'm tired of wearing fat clothes. I want to be able to wear, my goal, I'm turning 60 October 30th, and my goal is 100 pounds, and on my 60th birthday, I want to wear blue jeans that zip up yeah. and have a button. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of plastic That's stretch. right. Yeah. Wear cute jeans. Are you guys writing down yours? Yeah. Be writing down yours. I really want them in your face. Be writing them as you're thinking. What else? Tuck your shirt in. Tuck your shirt in. Oh. Tuck into those jeans. Just feel better about yourself, better self-image, not, <coughs> not turning away from a mirror because you don't like what you see in there. That's not nothing, is it? No, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. Penny. Being happy, not depressed, or anxious all the time. Do you find that how you eat, actually what you're intaking physically, but also the being controlled by the food, yeah, yeah. does that affect you guys emotionally? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. I just remember my dad dying <clears throat> right after I started my program and um, continuing with it was where I got a lot of my strength and I'll talk about that in the future but it makes a huge difference on what you can, their patience level with your kids, 
you know, and with your... <laughs> Kids? Um, you know, so your patience levels, it's huge. It's, it's big. What else? Yeah. Uh, you know, family photos where you try to hide in the yeah. back. Oh, yeah. Or not even put yourself ever in them. Yeah. Try, try oh, to that's take all the sad. Yeah. Family photos. How many of you don't have before pictures because... That's why I had him take, your husband take one of me today. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it's not easy to get up there and be a before, is it? No. Yeah. To get into one size mm -hmm. instead of eight. <laughs> the clothes filling out of boxes in the attic yep. so and in the drawers. How many of how many of you wear everything that's in your drawers? Am I saying drawers wrong? Everybody draws. Is it drawers? <laughs> drawers. <laughs> think of underwear when I think of drawers. <laughs> Whatever. How many of you wear everything that's in your drawers? Drawers. No, on the size. One size. Yeah. Going into a room and not checking out to see if you're the fattest. Oh my God, yeah. Room check. Yes. Room check. See if you're the fattest one. See if you can fit right. see through. People cringe when you come next to them. Like, ooh, <laughs> please don't nice. sit next to me. <laughs> Nobody's saying that about you. <laughs> and you're holding your arms like this. I know. How much can I suck in? <laughs> yeah. Um, talking about clothes is just adding a little color to your wardrobe. I like you open my closet. And it's it's all black. black. And no, and you can wear white. My mom always said, Kimberly, white is wide. You can't wear white. <laughs> wear black. Yeah. I want to set a good example for my kids so that they don't end up mm -hmm. in the same place that I am. That is wonderful. How many of you guys feel guilty because you have kids or you've raised kids and you feel really guilty because now they're struggling and you're taking it all on yourself? an awful feeling, isn't it? I mean, I have a 24-year-old, tw 23, and a 20, almost 21-year-old, and, you know, I raised them in the drive-thru, and you can't go through a drive-thru and get the order that I used to get and uh, not offer something to your kids between meal snacks of ginormous amounts of food. And it really hurts the motherhood guilt. It feels awful. Do you know that when you set a good example, when you show your kids that there's something that's so overpowering to you that you have a real hard time with it, and when you overcome that, you've set the best example of all. So you've got that to give them yet, showing them that you're not giving up, that you're here, that you're trying, that you can do this, and they can too.